Can you name something as sin? What is sin? Hmm? I'm sorry? Killing animal is sin, okay. Without killing, can you exist here? Every inhalation and exhalation you kill a million creatures, isn't it? Yes or no? So, with every breath you are committing sin. If you hold your breath, you will kill this one, again you commit sin. <laughs> Isn't it so? If you eat, whether you eat a plant or a vegetable or a fruit or a bird or an animal, you are killing something. Isn't it? Yes or no? Aren't plants as alive as anything else? Aren't they? So, can you not commit this sin? Is there some way not to commit this sin? Whichever way you live, you commit this sin. Now, just the simple process of breathing has become sin. Just the simple process of eating has become sin. Then, you will torture yourself with guilt. That is definitely sin. Torturing this life is also sin, isn't it? If killing another life is sin, torturing this life is not sin? Yes? Is it not? So, you will anyway sin. So you have to go to the temple, church or mosque and keep the business going because always you will feel guilty. Wonderful trick, isn't it? Hmm? Isn't it a wonderful device? to keep it going eternally. <laughs> Can I tell you a joke? Huh? Are you okay? In his previous life, Shankaran Pillai was a good man. After a brief illness, he died. Being a good man, naturally he went to heaven. When he went to heaven, the angels welcomed him, the reception committee, and then they opened his account book. Good deed, good deed, good deed, good deed, good deed, good deed, good deed. From cover to cover, only good deeds. Then the angels went into a little confusion and then they came to Shankaran Pillai and said, Mr. Pillai, we have a little problem here. Shankaran Pillai asked, what is the problem? The angel said, see here in heaven we have different types of accommodation. One bad deed means highest heaven, see front view. Two bad deeds, next level of heaven. Three bad deeds, next level of heaven. Like this we have many levels of heaven. But no bad deed, there is no such place. We have never received anybody till now without a single bad deed. You are the first man, we really don't know what to do with you. <laughs> then Shankaran Pillai said, what nonsense. In the world I was such a good man, nobody wanted to come anywhere near me and nobody knew what to do with me. And I live with the hope that anyway I will go to heaven. Here also problem with my good deeds. Somebody is too good means nobody wants to be around them, isn't it? Because <laughs> life doesn't happen. <laughs> then the angels went into a discussion mode. Then they came up and said, don't you worry Mr. Pillai, we have found a solution. Anyway your body is still intact. We'll give you three more hours of life. You go back, just commit one bad deed. We'll put you in the highest heaven, nothing is lost. Shankaran say, what nonsense, there also problem, here also problem, my good deeds. And lo, he became alive here. He sat up, started thinking how to commit a bad deed. One and a half hours passed away. See, he has no practice like you. <laughs> he never committed a bad deed, he doesn't know. 
So he went on thinking how to commit a bad deed, an hour and a half passed away. Then he remembered, there is a woman who is well past her prime in the neighborhood, who's been casting inviting glances at him. But he being a good man, he never looked that way. Now he remembered, adultery is a bad deed. So he went. He found that woman's house and went and knocked on the door. She opened. Shankaran Pillai said, I want you. Why Mr. Pillai, just yesterday evening they told me, you are on your deathbed. What is this? He said, it doesn't matter, I want you. So he went in, whatever he lacked, this thing, somehow nature took over, things happened. But he doesn't want to die there. He wants to go home and die. So time is running out and he is leaving in a hurry. The woman came to see him off at the door and said, Mr. Pillai, do you know what a good deed you have done for me today? One more good deed, what to do? So good people neither give, make it here nor there because your goodness is not coming out of your humanity. Your goodness is coming out of your morality. Morality means suppressed goodness, controlled goodness. Not because of your love, not because of your humanity that you are good, but simply out of your morality. Morality means too much calculation, isn't it? Yes? Suppression. If you allow your humanity to flow, you will not do anything that would cause damage to somebody. But many times we may have to do something, we may have no choice. Yes? So the question is not about papam punyam, sin and virtue. If you are in tune with life, anything that you do is okay. You are not in tune with life, you have calculations going, then whatever you do is sin. You are moralistic, and do whatever you do, all the best things that you do is a big sin because you're suppressing life. Out of your humanity, whatever you do is wonderful. So the difference between morality and spirituality is just this. See, if you experienced all these people as a part of yourself, then do I have to teach you morals? Don't harm this person, don't kill that person, don't rob that person, would you need the morality? No. Only because you're not experiencing your original nature, you have, per, you know, deviated yourself from your natural course of experiencing life. All these morals have become necessary, isn't it? If you open yourself up to life, you will see, you will be perfectly in tune with life. When you're in tune with life, there is no sin, there is no virtue, everything is okay with you. <laughs>